Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to discuss about the set variable activity in Azure Data Factory. So first we will try to understand about the use case and then we will try to do a practical. So with the help of the set variable activity we can create any of the variable and we can assign a value. Suppose I am creating a variable name as A and we can assign any of the value for that. So it is like similar to the programming language. So for taking example in Python also if you had to create any variable name what actually you do first you try to write the variable name and you can assign after that you assign a value. Similarly here also we can create any of the variable name and we can assign a value. Previously it was only supporting the string boolean and array but we also now it started supporting the integer also. So that is the one of the uh, new thing which you have to remember. So these are the uh, data type only it supports. So uh, what actually you can do with the help of the set variable you can create any of the variable and that particular variable you can pass into your of the pipeline. For taking example suppose my one of the pipeline contain the particular date time. So I am storing the whatever the date value into this particular uh, variable and also I am creating another variable and passing the day of the particular day of the particular date like Monday, Tuesday or something. Now what actually I am doing? I am just combining. I am creating another value that contains the Monday and the particular date time. And this value I can pass into the file name of any of the pipeline where actually I have to use. Like suppose in copy data actually you want to save this particular name as a your file name right. So that kind of the thing actually you can do. Means with the help of the variable it's very simple. You can create a variable and you can assign any of the value and you can use in your pipeline. Let's do a practical and let's understand. Let me open my Azure data factory. So if you go to the author. You can cl click on the new pipeline. We are going to create a new pipeline. Now if you go into the general right. You will see the value as a set variable. So this actually you can drop. Now here you can see you can pass any of the name that is fine. Go to the setting. In this setting we can create a new variable. So click on the new. So first you have to give the name and you have to pass the value. So let me give the name as a A. And the, what is the type. So you can see we have a four type. It is supporting string boolean array and integer. Previously only the string boolean and array was there. Now integer also it is supporting. So I will select the string only. I will click on the confirm. My, I have created one variable name A. Now what is the value? So here you can pass any of the value or you can dynamically also you can assign a, a value. So let me click on that dynamic contain. Now you, if you go to the function you will get different kind of the function. Suppose I want to know the current particular time in a UTC format. So I will select the UTC now. Now if I click on the OK. My value A should contain the current time in a UTC. Now if I try to click on the debug. Let's see. Now if I will show you output, you can see variable A contain the current UTC time zone. So like that actually we can create a variable and we can set the particular value. And suppose uh, you, this is one way of creating a variable. The second way of creating variable is in the right side if you click anywhere in the blank side. You can see you are getting a parameter variable. So in a variable here also you can create a value. Suppose I will create a value as a B. And this also I am creating a string. I am not passing any value. Now if I am creating any set variable here. Now if I will go to the setting. If you will see in a name it is already showing the value B. Which we have created. Now here you can pass the value. So let me give the name as a Monday. Suppose that particular day is Monday. This, this Monday also you can get it from a dynamic content. If you will go to the function. In the function from the UTC you can convert into any of the day also with the help of this all the function which is available. So this thing actually you can explore. But as of now uh, hard coding the Monday and I am just assigning a value. Now if I will try to debug it. My A should contain the UTC time zone and B should contain the Monday. If you will see set variable to output is the Monday and the set variable one is the particular time period. Now what I want. I want to create another variable. Click on go to the variable click on the new I will use as a file name. So I am creating a one variable file name. Now what I will do I will go to the another create a set variable and this all the value I will pass here. Now go to the set variable go to the setting 
we'll select the our third one is the file name and here we can combine whatever the value which is coming from the set variable 1 and set variable 2 we'll go to the concat we have a a and b right so what actually we can do is we can concat you have to write at the rate concat and in this concat you can pass the a and the comma b not b the value you have to select here variable b now if i click on the ok now if i try to debug now uh, it is running it is in progress it is succeed now my variable 3 contain the particular date as well as the monday so now like this this particular value if you want to pass in any of the pipeline in a copy data as your file name if you want to save that so that kind of the uh, thing actually you can use in with the help of the variable suppose this set variable 3 whatever the output you are getting so you can create a one copy data activity in a file name you can pass the particular set variable 3 as a file name and any any of the pipeline if you want to use this particular set variable that also you can use so this kind of the use case generally we get in a set variable so it's very simple we have to create any of the variable and we can assign a value and any of the pipeline uh, if you want to use we can use that so yeah that's it in this video thanks